So, uh, this asked Joy, um, hey, she's back, <laughs> if you didn't know. Yes, she left me alone, um, but she uh, decided to make a cameo, and she will from time to time. The question is actually perfect that she's here because the question um, is from a gal who responded to a question that we did. That's right. Um, it's the one where the gal wrote in and was like, I just got married and now my single friends don't wanna hang out with me. Well, then she wrote back and she was like, for it. Well, first of all, I just I'm distracted you, by the fact that you keep calling her a gal. Gal. <laughs> We're in 1947 right now, and this gal wrote in because she's feeling. Go ahead. Well, anyways, I mean she's on the opposite end of the spectrum. She's the one who is single, and all of her married friends, whenever she's with them, all that they do is talk about being married and having babies, babies and everything that she wishes was true in her life, but it's not, and so. She just doesn't really want to hang out with them very much. Yeah. So I wrote her back and I said, I actually understand what you're going through. I have a group of girlfriends from college, um, which now I'll be able to find out if they actually watch my videos, if they contact me. Um, and about once a year, we all get together and I'm the only one that's not married and pretty much almost, yeah, I think almost all of them have kids. And so that is the topic of all of the conversations. Um, and so what I just encouraged her to do, and if you're in that same situation, is, you know, sometimes I think when we have wounds around something, we feel like it's a little more intense than it actually is. I think if you actually documented how much, or if I documented how much my college girlfriends were talking about um, their marriages and their kids, it probably would only be like 97%. Of it. No, <laughs> it probably wouldn't be as much as, as you feel it because the, the pain for you is real. Um, but also I have um, a couple of, of really close girlfriends in that group and they know that I wish that our group of friends would talk about other things and so I think that they have, they've helped uh, navigate those conversations. Mm -hmm. So that was one thing I suggested. I was like, tell some of your friends, like, hey, can we try to maybe, you know? Um, and then I let you read the email. What else? What other? Well, no, I, I mean one other thing that you mentioned, and I think you actually practice with me because all I do is talk about my kids. No. <laughs> she does. Um, no, is to just suggest doing other things like maybe starting a book club or an activism group, you know, whatever. But actually, what Joy does, she doesn't talk about activism with me. <laughs> okay. I just go over to her house and pick it. No, all no, the time. no. <laughs> right? She pickets on the front lawn. No, she actually has gotten me to try a bunch of new things, which it's hard not to focus on talking about that when we're like paddle boarding for me for the first time or like going on bike rides and getting lost by a field of cows and there's only gravel <laughs> as far as the eye can see. These are the kinds of things that she gets me to do and then we don't have time to talk about my kids. So. <laughs> no, yeah, and so I just, I feel like, you know, we have to give grace for the fact that it, it, I have to work hard to get her to be able to go on a bike ride because she does, she is in a different season of life. <clears throat> and then I think the other thing is that um, not all of your friends, if you share with them, hey, can we talk about other things? like they're not all gonna respond to that. And and it is the season of life. Like you're not working with me anymore because she's in a season of life of, of really wanting to focus on her kids. And that's great. Um, so when you do become married and you do have kids, remember that. Cause she'll, you'll, if you're this consumed by your singleness right now, you'll probably be that consumed by marriage and kids when you mm -hmm. are. Um, and then if you're not, if you're not uh, fostering happiness, I think in your singleness, you're not gonna be happy when you're married either. So my challenge to you is not make it an idol and just talk to your friends about it instead of becoming bitter. Yeah, like and inspire me. new things you can do with them. Right. <laughs> On the next Ask Joy, Walter takes his fight to the White House where his message is a mixed bag of demands that may or may not make sense depending if you read a sign as a single line or multiple thoughts.